we always talk about the game's not over until it says zero zero on the, on the clock. And, uh, and we were getting our teammate plays with the game of runs. And, uh, and we saw that. Uh, Vanderbilt went on to a, a pretty good one, got up, I think, 58 43 or something like that. And, but we've been in games like that. I think the, the experience that we've had, I think it really did a job of setting our guys down and not panicking. And, and just two of the plays I remember distinctly that took place. I think it was almost double figures, and Dusty Hammonds gets five on three point shot. Uh, he cut it to single digits, and we didn't, it, to me, that's when the momentum really started taking place. And then, of course, there at the end, Darrell gets a three point shot on offense, and he down, uh, he gets five, and he makes three threes. And so, uh, just the guys made plays. We had guys made right plays at the right time. We turned them over at the right time. Uh, they go 21 to 26 from the free throw line. And it was one of those improbable games, but uh, that's why you play the game. Proud of the effort, and, and Bryce Drew uh, has done a great job with these guys. You got to they all can shoot the basketball. I thought we did a good job on, on Fisher Day, and I thought that was being in this particular game. But a chance is as cool as a cucumber out there. Played real well. And the Tordy kid, he, uh, I didn't know much about him, but I know about him now. Very good basketball player. Uh, but it's one of those games that, you know, you say they shouldn't have won it, but uh, that's why they put the, the time on the clock. It's not over to us. So. There were, I mean, a lot of guys in that situation with 26 seconds, three free throws, and they're not going to go three for three. What, what was going through your mind, and how did you get through that? Um, the only thing that was going through my mind was don't miss. Just make all three. And that's what I was looking at doing. I practice some free throws every day. And my time came. Can you hit the first one? Is that, I mean, how big is that when you hit that first one? I think the first one was probably the worst one. I was the most nervous on that one. Well, to be honest, this is my first time living in this situation, so that's why that's why I kind of look how it's. It's funny, it's funny, because we talked about that. That I okay. talked about that. Okay. And, uh, so, but I think the beauty of it, they can envision it and practice each and every day, because there are no situations, and so uh, I try to put them in as much pressure as they can, but don't describe what took place here. So again, just just let's do what he just said and take it for what it's worth. So Daryl, that's the first time at any level you've had the game with a free throw like that. I mean, I do it in practice all the time. In this city, yeah. first time in. It's a little, a little different than this city, right? Oh, that's what I mean. Yeah. But, but you've shot free throws so well. I mean, you just had a lot of confidence, right? How did you feel going to the line? Um, I was very confident going to the line. I obviously wanted to make all three of them to win the game. But, you know, it, was, it didn't start with me. It started with Manny and Moses on the defensive end. You know, if, you, if they didn't get those steals they got, then I would have never been in that position. Mike, what was going through your mind? He's been in some of those situations. I mean, he made a big free throw against uh, a &M. I mean, he missed the one that, that, that probably would have made a three-point game. But, uh, but more important, he's been in those situations since he's been here. And I mean, he's delivered. I mean, Texas, he goes, what, 16 for 16? And those were some clutch free throws for us. And so uh, that's a good thing when you get one of your best free throw shooters at, to the line, you know, during critical times. Mike, what was the conversational offense the last few minutes? Was it take what come to the offense? Was it was it take it to the hole? What was it that you wanted your guys to do? We wanted to get in attack mode. I thought you know, they were in foul trouble, and uh, especially uh, Fisher Davis. And uh, but we wanted to attack the basket. And I thought when we got the floor open, when our defense started getting stops, you know, the defense wasn't set. So we got the floor open, we got to spread it. And you know, I think Dusty was attacking, Barker was attacking, uh, there everybody was attacking. And then Moses was the recipient of some, some easy baskets there too. So, uh, But we wanted to get some attack to the basket. And then for our shooters to spot up and, and knock shots down. So it was that mindset. When you're down, I mean, that's your mindset. You, you got to figure out, uh, it's kind of like you got you to get in attack mode. And so we're in attack mode. You guys Defensive are, and offensive. You guys have just kind of given them fits through the years. Some, somebody that's been with you here, somebody that's been with other coaches. Is it, is it your style of play that gives them a problem? What is it that's. I, I can't answer that. I mean, I, I just thought we defensively when we did bring it, I thought we did a good job of disrupting what they wanted to do. Uh, they, 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 uh, when, when they run their stuff, they were pretty, pretty good. Uh, but we, we did a good job. Uh, even they made nine threes, but I thought we did a fairly decent job on you know the guy that really, really shooting basketball. With.
Did there a lot of those pretty veteran players to draw the contact there with 1.6? Kind of what, what's going through your mind and what, just kind of describe that play. You get the offensive rebound, you know, you know you're down three. What was going through your mind? Kind of I'm actually did draw that contact. Actually, the foul was right there. So um, when Manny got the rebound, I just might have to, I had to get it in there. I didn't have much time though. I could have drove, but you know, I, my mind, I was one for four from the three. And I, I got eight. And then, then when you got sometimes teams the road teams don't get those calls. What was going through your mind and thinking, yeah, or what, what, what were you thinking? Um, I wasn't looking for the foul, I was actually just looking for the shot, but I was actually kind of surprised they, they called it because you know it was 1.6 level. So. Anything else? All right, thanks. Thank you.